Hi there, this is a tutorial for your equilibrium and concentration lab through Gizmos. So when you open up your assignment, this is what will show up and you're going to click on this link and that link will show you this Gizmo right here. Again, make sure that you are logged into the Gizmo because you're not going to have enough time to complete the Gizmo if you don't log into your account first. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to answer these questions. The question is Mackenzie or the statement is that Mackenzie has $5,000 in her bank account and earns a modest salary. Every month she pays for rent, food, utilities, and entertainment. How will Mackenzie's account change if she saves more than she spends? How will the account change if she spends more than she saves? Or how much, what will happen if Mackenzie spends exactly as much as she saves? So what's going to end up happening to our account balance in all of these situations? The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to do the gizmo warm-up. And the gizmo warm-up, what you need is, it says reaction one. So I have reaction one chosen here. And then I also have, um, it says, I want to set moles of NO2 to eight. So I'm gonna move that to eight by moving this slider right here. And then it says N2024 to zero. So I'm going to move that here, okay? And then it says click play and observe the colliding molecules. What do you notice? So if I go ahead and click this play button right here, pay attention to those molecules. And if you look at the colors, the colors kind of change a tiny bit if things um, collide and new compounds are formed. So we're forming N2O4 and what's reacting is NO2. So you're as you're watching what happens, go ahead and make note of that. And then it says, click reset and set moles of NO2 to zero, okay? And then set N2O4 to eight. So I'm gonna move NO2 to zero and N2O4 to eight, okay? And I'm gonna hit play and I can even speed this up by making my sim speed faster. And as you see the molecules, like pay attention to some of those molecules, what's happening, okay? Notice we started with zero, okay? We started with zero of NO2 and we started with eight moles of N2O4, okay? Go ahead and make some observations there. I also really like to look at this graph and you can make observations on the graph. So if I push pause here and reset and I kept it the same situation and I hit play, you can see how this graph is changing. So we have N2O4 as our green line, NO2 is our orange line. So what do you notice with the lines in the graph, okay? Now here, what I've done is I've included a link for reversible reactions. When a reaction can proceed in either direction, it's a reversible reaction. If you wanna do a little bit of reading on that, you can, and then go ahead and answer this question. Then you're going to go through and you're going to adjust the SIM speed all the way to the right, like I've already done, and you're going to answer these questions. Suppose you begin with eight moles of NO2 in the chamber. What do you think is going to happen? Go ahead and hit play and see what actually happens, okay? And then um, right here, we're going to talk about chemical equilibrium. So in this situation, you see it says the overall amounts of reactants and products do not change significantly over time. That's called chemical equilibrium. So if I play this again, um, what you start to see is you start to see the graph kind of flatline out. And at that flatline point, that's when you've reached chemical equilibrium. And the rate of the forward reaction is equal to the rate of the reverse reaction at chemical equilibrium. So you kind of reach this stability point. Now, if you wanna know more about chemical equilibrium, you can click here. Now, the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to reset moles of NO2 to zero and N2O4 to four. So if I reset NO2 to zero, and 204 to four, and then you're going to hit play and you're going to look at how those compare, okay? Another thing that you can also do is when you hit play, you can check at, if I increase my sim speed, okay? And I can look at my experiment 
And every time I see a flash, I'm going to see a change in my chemical, or I can even look at my bar chart. And my bar chart, I can show my data, and showing my data values will um, help me answer some of the questions here. Okay, so you're going to go through this right here and you're going to answer the questions uh, on this gizmo based on what you run here. And then what you're going to do, so you have reaction one and you're going to look at your bar charts and you can push pause, okay, and you can see what your values are based on what the experiment uh, experimental values are that you're supposed to run. And then you're going to calculate the KC or the equilibrium expression. Okay. And the equilibrium expression is the concentration of the products divided by the concentration of the reactants. And we raise that to the power of whatever the coefficient is here. Okay. Um, so you'll notice for this current reaction, the equilibrium expression is the concentration of N2O4, which is my products, divided by NO2 squared. And the reason it's squared is because of this coefficient. Now it's important to note that in the equilibrium expression, you do not include anything that's labeled as a liquid or a solid. The liquid and the solid do not affect your equilibrium expression or your equilibriums, okay? So you're going to go ahead and run some experiments right here and record your values and then uh, determine what the KC is for each one, okay? Um, so you're going to, for each set of initial concentrations, you're going to use the gizmo to determine the equilibrium concentrations of each substance. Um, and so you have your initial value and your equilibrium value. So you're really going to want to use this bar chart to be able to figure out what those values are right here, okay? Okay. And then you're going to answer these questions, determine what your equilibrium constant is. Then you can move to reaction four. You're going to go to reaction four. So I'm going to go and reset everything. And I want to go to reaction four and I'm going to run different situations there, okay? Now, one thing I do want to show you is on your bar chart, you can change this to concentration and by changing that to concentration, you can get your concentration values for the situation above, okay? If you have any questions as you're going through this lab, please feel free to reach out um, and I will answer any of your questions.